Hi, I'm Zephyr Bieber Brooks, and I'm the British Tech Guru. These two are LED lights from Harbour Freight. Now, I've already taken screws out to facilitate fast uh, disassembly. This one wasn't working. What did it say on it? HarbourFreight.com. Wow. So let's take the cover off. It has a kind of a little rubber thingy, little rubberized button make it give it the pretense of being waterproof which it isn't um pull this apart pull the reflector off and you can see the leds and we have two resistors one two i was looking for a chip or something and everything seems to be here underneath this thing underneath the switch so yeah kind of interesting cheap ass can i say that on youtube yeah i probably can let's take the back off and this is why it failed that contact is rusty is it worth fixing no it was a two dollar flashlight In fact, I think that one might have been one of Harbour Freight's freebies. This is another one of Harbour Freight's. Again, it's failed. So I'll take the cover off. Again, one of those uh, fake rubber contact, uh, rubber switch things that uh, gives it the pretense of being waterproof, which it isn't. Rather a nice large LED. And... No circuitry whatsoever in this. Just one whopping great big resistor, which I think is probably way bigger the resistor than it actually needs. And again, battery compartment, that's why it's failed. Rusty. Is it worth rep repairing? Hell no, two dollars. Barely even worth putting batteries in them. This is one that's actually still working. And I just put some batteries in it, which I think was probably a waste of money, but there we go. One, two, three, that works. One, two, yeah, again, they're cheap, cheesy, Chinese. Um, are there any bits in these worth keeping? Well, mm, I, I probably not. And I can probably use them, use the bits. Um, do I really want to use them? I don't know. But uh, there you go. That's about as um, big clive as I get. I'll see you again in the next video.